Hi, this is Karen White of Divine Time Astrology, and I'm going to show you how to use my new chart calculator. This is where you can get uh, your free birth chart. The way you find it is if you come in through the home page or just about any page where it says free stuff up here, you click on free stuff and click on the chart calculator. It takes you to this page. And now before we actually do the chart calculator, I want to show you some other things here on the page so that you can use this to read your chart. So here is a South Indian chart showing the meanings, the basic meanings, of each one of the 12 houses of the birth chart. And then down here are the chart symbol details the free chart does not use astrological symbols. It's using English. And so, for instance, um, Aries here is abbreviated to AR. And it's the same for the planets, too. So this makes it really easy to read, even if you're not an astrology student. Another thing that's been added is this table here. It's called the Characas. What it means is that each one of the planets in your birth chart has produced a particular person or people in your life, including yourself. And it goes, it's always going to be in this order. So you read it from left to right. And the first one is the Atmakarika. Karika means producer. So in this person, this is just an example here. And this person, Venus, created that person. It's the self-producer planet. Mars created their friends. The moon created their siblings. Saturn created the mother and their children. Mercury created their father. Jupiter produced their relatives in general. And the sun is their spouse. The sun is responsible for producing this person's spouse. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use it. You click on this red sentence here that says click for chart calculator. And then I'm just going to use my own chart and show you how it's done. These are the drop down menus. So the month, the day, the year, the time, and it's in uh, military time. Now on this page, where it says city town, it means just put in the city that you were born, not the state. And here's a, also another drop down menu for the country that you were born in. And then the chart style, there's a uh, North Indian, if you like that um, chart style, and then the South Indian, and that's my preference. And then you click continue, and it's on the second page where you choose the state. And then continue again, and this is the new chart. Now what's new about it is the Charakarika is up here like I told you before. There's more on the time periods. There's two more tables uh, that weren't there before, which I'll explain in a moment. And there's still the table that shows the degree of each planet, the sign of each planet, the nakshatra that it's in, the pada of that nakshatra, and then the Lords of the Nakshatra. And this is another thing that's new, and that is all of these Varga charts, divisional charts, of which the ninth divisional chart here called the Navamsha is the one that Vedic astrologers actually use the most. So I'll show you for this chart, the self-producer, uh, Atmakarika is the moon. So that's the moon is the, the planet that produced me, and Jupiter is my friends, Mercury produced my siblings, Saturn produced my mother and my daughter, the sun produced my father, 
Mars is my relatives in general, and Venus is who I look for. So Venus produced my husband. And then it shows here the time period that I'm in. And this is, you look for um, the date that's closest to the time now. So the sun period for me started in July of 2014 and will continue until June 11th, 2020. And if you go down to the second one, you can see the, the, um, the next sub period. So this just shows the main planetary period. This shows the main planetary period and the sub period. And this one shows, it goes even further. Now in the call of software, you can take this down to five levels. And I've actually used it to bring it right down even to the minute um, to help my daughter to do something in particular. And it worked out really well. Now this graph here is aspects to planets. So this is showing the, how the planets are aspecting each other. And so since the moon is my self-producer planet, I'm looking at this one first and it shows that the moon is aspected by K2 to 12 out of 60 points. The Rahu aspects the moon 33 out of 60, Saturn 21 out of 60, Jupiter 56 out of 60, and Mars 26 out of 60. And then this table here is about the cusps. It's called aspect to Bhava Chalita cusps. Bhava means house. And if you notice here in this chart, see these numbers? These little numbers here represent the cusps. And so in Vedic astrology, we don't do everything using <clears throat> signs. It's just a particular technique where you use just the signs. We use the cusps also. So for instance, I just want to quickly show you here that the first house has both signs of Capricorn and Aquarius in it. And the seventh has both Cancer and Leo in it. Whereas the fifth house has two cusps in it with one sign. And that's what you typically see like a Western chart. You would see that more graphically. But here we have little numbers instead. So that's pretty much everything. Now there's not a button that says you know, download as a PDF anywhere on this at this time. So what you have to do is use your print di dialog box to download it as a PDF. I do Apple P and it might be different on yours, but you bring up your print dialog boxes if you're going to print this out, which of course you can do. But if you want to save it as a PDF, down here at the bottom of most print dialog boxes, it will say, um, it can say save here or save as, and there should be a, an option to save as a PDF. So I'll click on that and I'm going to put it here in this folder. Okay, so now I will show you what it looks like after it's been saved as a PDF. There you go. With my printer, it comes out where the first page is mostly blank. Page two is where you see the chart, most of the, well, page one of the chart, and then page three is page two, where it shows all the Varga charts. You can save it as a PDF, or you can print it out, like you can use this page here for notes, or what you can do is, this is what I would do if I were to print it out, open up the print dialog box again, and see where it says pages here. Now I don't want it to print all of them. Just go to pages and it says one dash three. Take off the one, put a two there. And what it'll do now is it'll just print pages two and three and not that first page. So now that you have your new chart with all this useful information on it, I want to recommend that you go to the links below where you can go to some pages on my site and learn a few things about yourself. You can check and uh, just follow along with the article and see what it tells you.
about you or someone that you care about, someone you're interested in. Anyway, this has been Karen White of Divine Time Astrology. Thank you.